today we're going to look at density. So what is density? Well, density is a relationship between the mass and the volume of a substance. So here we've got two blocks, and the two blocks have got the same volume. We've got a block of wood and a block of copper. The block of copper would be much heavier, it would have a higher mass than the block of wood. And the reason is that copper has got a higher density than wood. The density of this wood is 0.85 grams per centimetre cubed, whereas the density of the copper is 8.92 grams per centimetre cubed. So that means for, if you had one centimetre cube of wood, it would have a mass of 0.85 grams. And if you had a, a centimetre cube of copper, it would have a mass of 8.92 grams. So that's why if you've got two objects of the same volume, the, the, uh, the mass of the object that's made out of copper would be much heavier than the uh, mass of the object that's made out of wood. Now let's have a look at the relationship between the mass and the volume in a bit more detail. So, density is calculated by the formula mass divided by volume. If you divide the mass of an object by the volume of the object, that will give you the density. Rearranging that, well if you times both sides by volume, you're going to get that mass is equal to density times volume. So if you know the density of an object, and you know the volume of the object, if you times those two together, you're going to get the mass of the object. And finally, uh, by div uh, dividing both sides of this uh, formula by density, you get the, uh, the volume of an object is equal to the mass of the object divided by the density of the object. So let's have a look at our first example. So our first example says a piece of metal has a volume of 50 centimetres cubed and a mass of 800 grams. Calculate the density of the metal. So density is equal to mass divided by volume. So the mass of this object, well, it was 800 grams. And the volume of the object is equal to 50 centimetres cubed, so 50. And we're going to divide 800 by 50 to get the volume. And whenever we do 800 divided by 50, we get 16. So the answer is going to be 16. Now let's make sure we get the correct units. But because it was in grams and centimetres cubed, it's going to be 16 grams per centimetre cubed. And that's the density. So this metal has got a density of 16 grams for every centimetre cubed, or 16 grams per centimetre cubed. Right, so let's have a look at our second example. Our second example says, a solid iron statue has a mass of 897 grams. Iron has a density of 7.8 grams per centimetre cubed. Work out the volume of the statue. So to work out volume, well volume is equal to mass divided by density. So that's mass divided by density. Now before we carry on and substitute numbers into this formula, what we need to do is just make sure we've got the correct units, so or the, uh, the, the correct values. So if we have a look at our density, our density is measured in grams per centimetre cubed. That means it's going to be very important that our mass is in grams, and it is in grams, that's, that's great. If the mass was in kilograms, I would need to convert it into grams by times and by a thousand, because we need to look, use the units that we have got for our density, okay? We've got grams per centimetre cubed, and we need to make sure that our mass is going to be in grams then. So our mass is going to be 897, and our density is equal to 7.8. And if you divide those, you're going to get 115. Now because the units for our density was grams per centimetre cubed, for our volume, it's going to be centimetres cubed. They're the units. And that's it. Okay, and our last example. Our last example says, the cylinder below here is made from glass. The density of glass is 2.5 grams for every centimetre cubed. Work out the mass of the cylinder. First of all, mass. Well, mass is equal to density times volume. We know the density. The density is equal to 2.5. We just need to know what the volume is to then multiply it to get the mass of the, the cylinder. So let's get the volume of the cylinder. Well, the volume of a cylinder is equal to the area of the circle times by how tall it is. Well, the formula is volume equals pi r squared times h. So we're going to do pi times the radius squared, that's going to be 7 squared, times by the height of the cylinder, which is 20. And whenever we work those out, we get that's equal to um, 980 pi, if we're doing it exactly, or if you were using it as a decimal number, it would be equal to 3078.760801. It's very important you don't round it. That's why it's actually quite useful to leave it as 980 pi, um, but you can use this whole value here, um, but just making sure that you don't round it until you're totally finished. So if we go back up here, the mass of this cylinder is equal to density times volume. So the density of the glass was equal to 2.5, and the volume of the cylinder was equal to, if we just make sure we put our units down, um, it's equal to 3078.760801.
Um, now I've kept that in my calculator display, so I just need to press times 2.5. And whenever I press two uh, times 2.5, I get that's equal to 2,450 pi, or uh, whenever I press this, the button, I get 7,696 point nine zero two zero zero one and that's going to be measured in because my density was in grams per centimeter cubed that's going to be measured in grams now personally i would probably write this in kilograms just because you know it's over a thousand grams so i would probably write it as seven point six nine six nine kilograms or i might even round it to seven point kilograms or sorry seven point seven kilograms and um, depending on you know what the question asked for and that's it.